I'm in one of Adelaide's newer suburbs. It's lovely, it's leafy, it's green, and it's pretty well stress-free, except for one family. You see, Jamie has a real problem with her dog, Duke, and it's all to do with a door. Yes, a door. Well, I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but we'll find it when I get there. I think it's time for the world to see. You're the Someone must be at home. Hello, here they come. Hi, Dr. Harry. Hello, Jamie, how Hello. are you? It's good to see you. Is this Sit, my Jim. patient? This is the man of the hour. Duke, how are you? Good to see you. Hey, you're a good dog. And who's this? This is little Lucy. Hi. And hiding behind you is someone else. This is Billy. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, where's the door? Right, let's, let's go. go, Duke. Where we go? This way, Dr. Harry. Come here, mate. Let's go out the dog door. Come on. Come on. <laughs> As you can see, Dr. Harry, he is not keen. Yes, this is a case of Duke versus the doggy door. Come on. No matter which way. Come on, Dukey. Come on. Come on. He's not having a bar of it. Come on, mate. Duke. The family Duke. moved here 18 months ago. In their old house, Duke used a doggy door exactly the same size with no problem. But at the new house, it's a very different story. We've tried hooking the flap up so it's up constantly. Yep. We've tried removing the dog door altogether so there's just a hole in the door. But the miracles don't happen. Miracles don't happen, Dr Harry. So what about when Jamie lays a trail of treats? Call him. Good boy. Come on, Jicky. So far, so good. Come on, Jicky. That's lovely. Now put your hand actually on the frame of the door. Good boy, Jicky. Well done. Good oh, boy. good job. Oh, well, we're going well now. But that's where it ends. Even with meat treats, Jick will only venture so far. Good boy. But the moment he took it, he turned away. He keeps looking up, so the top of this frame is what worries the dog more than anything else. That's our problem. OK, let's start from the very beginning. So before you fitted the doggy door, how did you get in and out? He used to stand at the glass sliding door just behind you there and yeah. we would let him out there. How long did he go without a doggy door? I'd probably say it would be closer to six weeks or so. Now he's got to the point where he'll just stand there and knock on the door. And we tried to retrain him when we got the dog door. Did all the tricks. Hasn't worked. No. And it probably counts too that in the old house as a puppy, he could zip through the doggy door. So he had plenty of head clearance. Yeah. And now he's got one that he worries about head clearance. Yeah. So for our next experiment, we've taken out the dog door frame and stuck it to the opening. Now the dog has two alternatives. Come on. Come on, Jackie. Come on, mate. Come nope. on, mate. And we're not, we do not want to force the dog, otherwise we'll go backwards. <laughs> you can sense that he feels, if you like, claustrophobic, yeah. walking through that. He'll okay. walk through the open Good door, boy. no problem. But how about this? Come on, Jicky. Come on, mate. Come on, Jicky. Come on, Jicky. Come on. <laughs> well, I suppose you're a bit disappointed we didn't sort of fix it like that. <laughs> Because this is causing some disruption in your life, right? <laughs> it is. My children have slept through the night since they were ten weeks old, so I don't get up for them, but I get up for my dog. And I don't like that. <laughs> Giving Jamie back her sleep could be as simple as getting a bigger doggy door. OK? That you have to have specially made. Yeah. No problem. But I want you to try and persevere with what we started on today. Plenty of food rewards and plenty of praise. You have to make sure no one or nobody lets the dog out through that door. OK. And if you do that, you're going to win. Just remember, the dog has to... Want to do it. Take care. Thank you. You and your kids, the dog, and, of course, that husband of yours. Thanks. Up. See you later. See you later. Come on, Chicky. <laughs> Chicky. And guess what? Jamie has put in a slightly bigger doggy door. Duke has faced his fears and is now going through the door just like he used to. Well done, everyone. Good boy, Jiki. Good boy.